What's up, college football addicts? This is going to be a very quick update video to our recent ACC conference realignment video about UNC. Main story today is about North Carolina's Board of Trustees finally weighing in on conference realignment. Just before we start, please take a quick second to subscribe to this brand new channel. We've got some more conference realignment videos dropping very soon, and you're not going to want to miss any of them. So as a quick review, the University of North Carolina School Systems Board of Governors is set to vote on a policy change recommendation next month. Now, the policy change would require system chancellors to provide advance notice before changing athletic conference affiliation, and as well, they need to seek approval for related financial plans. Now, the University Governance Committee of the Board of Governors approved the recommendation following a lawsuit by Florida State against the ACC for media rights mismanagement and withdrawal penalties. The action by the Board of Governors indicates their interest in potential conference realignment discussions, and possibly tying North Carolina and NC State together, which would have devastating consequences for the University of North Carolina, which we discussed in our last video. Remember, UNC is one of the teams, along with Florida State and Clemson, who voted against the conference expansion that added Stanford, Cal, and SMU. A per 247 Sports, Greg Barnes, and full credit, and shout out to Greg here, the UNC Board of Trustees Chair, John Prayer, said that the new Board of Governance policy is not expected to significantly impact UNC. Prior emphasized the need for compelling financial reasons in any potential conference changes. Prayer went on to mention economic considerations as being crucial with a growing revenue gap between the ACC, the SEC, and the Big Ten. And I'm here to tell you that the economic considerations are significant. The article mentioned Navigate, a sports research firm, projects that the Big Ten conference distributions will grow to $105 million, and that the SEC's payouts will be $118 million by 2029. The ACC's conference distribution is projected to be $62 million by that same year, 2029. It went on to say that former UNC Chancellor Kevin Guskowitz told Inside Carolina last month that his data suggested a $35 to $45 million revenue gap by the end of the decade. That's a massive revenue differential that potentially threatens UNC's ability to compete nationally across all of its 28 sports if financial concerns are not addressed. Prayer said the following, I think we all have an obligation to assess the financial realities and make the best decision based on those realities. That is what the Board of Governors outlined. And if the current financial model of the ACC doesn't improve, then it would cause real concern about how Carolina could continue to maintain its excellence in athletics. Look, guys, this basically echoes what the FSU Board of Trustees said before the season started in 2023. This means that North Carolina is not interested in sitting around and playing around and waiting. It also means that they are not interested in being tied to NC State or anyone else. This was big boy talk, and it happened months and months after Florida State stuck their necks out there first. I understand that, but they're not playing around, they're not messing around, and they're not going to be around in this conference too much longer. Again, a ton of conference realignment news that we expect to be coming over the next few days and weeks. We will cover all of that here on College Football Addiction. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that button right now if you're an ACC fan or just a fan of college football and want to know more about what's going on in conference realignment. You can do so by hitting that subscribe button today.